안녕하십니까? Hello. We'll take a look at implant engines and one to two taper kit. I'm Dr. Ho Chol Che, Neo Dental Clinic. First, implant engines. The most important thing when it comes to implant engine is the handpiece and the implant engine itself. First, the handpiece. The Cavo handpiece from Austin is the most convenient one that I have experienced among handpieces, among many handpieces that I have used. The implant handpiece uses 15 to 2,000 RPM, consistent torque, irrigation, and direction for implant placement can be maintained with good grip. So it is a handpiece that brings very accurate implant placement. Implant engine has a digital display and there are switches using the buttons. RPM or torque can be controlled and they can be controlled with the foot paddle. Components of implant engine. Main engine unit, a foot paddle, and the tubing to connect the handpiece, sail line holder. So these are all for placing implants. Implant engine, MOS. The recommended programs or MOS are the drilling program and placement program. And there are eight modes that can be set. And here, there are six modes listed here. Marking is carried out with a mode of guide drill with a torque of 20 and usually the speed of 1200 RPM. 2.2 or 2.7 pilot drill is used for this with a torque of 20 with the RPM of 800. Next, a template drilling, torque of 20 and 1200 RPM. Implant placement, 40 torque and uh, much lower RPM of 25. When removing an implant, stronger torque of 50 and RPM is set at 50 in the reverse mode. Implant drilling sequence, 1 to 2 taper kit. There are three tool types, drilling tool, implant placement tool, and superstructure assembly or connection tool. First, drilling tool. A variety of drills are available. The first one is the lens drill and the side cut drill with the side blade 2.2 twist drill, 2.7 twist drill. There is a stopper here, but not here. 1 to 2 taper kit drill. 3.5 to 5.0 diameter drills are available. Drill extension and parallel pin is used to look at the parallelism. Depth gauge is to check the drilling depth. If you look at one by one in more detail, first the lens drill is used to mark the implant placement position. Usually the recommended RPM is 12 to 1500 RPM, up to 13 millimeters in length. As you can see, the placement site is marked so that a twist drill can go in there without moving side to side. Next, side cut drill. As the name indicates, the side 
is used to expand the marked point without using a lens drill a side cut drill is used for marking it doesn't really matter after marking on the buckle or lingo side when direction is not correct using a side cutting drill the placement the direction can be modified twist drill 2.2 millimeters and 2.7 millimeters first 2.2 the lens drill mark the point of a placement and the recommended rpm is 800 to 1200 so it is drilled in the direction of placement next is the 2.7 millimeter long twist drill there is no stopper so that is the advantage so it doesn't interfere with your adjacent teeth and direction can be changed freely and it is easier to use drilling tools wanted to taper drills 3.5 to 5.5 millimeter in diameters so various taper drills are shown here so you can see one millimeter space below the stopper TS type submerged implant can be placed. In principle, an implant should be placed one millimeter below the alveolar bone, so there's one millimeter space provided. The widening part ranges from 0.7 millimeter to one millimeter. So if you want to place a 10 millimeter implant, 12 millimeter is the drilling depth therefore we need to be very careful mindful of inferior alveolar nerve in the drilling tools the drills may not be able to go into bone in the maxillary anterior region because of the interference from adjacent teeth the irrigation part of the handpiece can be cut that's why a drill extension is needed. The extension can be made up to 16.9 millimeters. Depth gauge. A hole is drilled and we don't know how deep the hole may be. So we can use the depth gauge to identify the depth of the drilled hole. And it is made easier. On the other hand, we have an open wrench after placement when primary stability is not sufficient if you just rotate and remove the cover screw an implant can come out together so you need to connect the open wrench to the mount area without making the implant mobile primary stability can be increased implant placement tools mount driver no mount driver, implant driver, mount extension, torque extension, torque wrench, and a removal tool. First, mount driver. A mount driver is connected to the mount area of an implant. And a hand PC is connected. There is a short version and long version. In general, the long one is used for the anterior region of maxilla or mandible and the short one in the posterior region. Implant driver. After placing an implant, after removing the mount, when implant is in bone for detailed adjustment, Implant driver is used. So there is a TS type and SS type. Mini implant driver. When we place the 3.5 millimeter diameter implant, this is used for 4.0 or bigger diameter implants. So we use regular implant drivers. Mount extension. It is used to extend. Torque extension. 
After removing the mount, after placing an implant in bone, this torque is used to place deeper or to pull it up a little bit for detailed adjustment. Removal tool is used quite often. The instrument is used to separate the mount. When the mount is jammed after placing a pre-mounted implant, we encounter this kind of a case quite often. In this case, we can use the removal tool and rotate it in the clockwise direction to easily separate the mount from the implant. So this instrument is quite useful in such a case. Lastly, superstructure assembly tool. A hand driver is routinely used and a torque driver is used to remove prosthesis. There is short type and long type. After placing an implant, the mount screw is removed and after the placement, cover screw is assembled and sutured and after a certain period of time in the second surgery, a healing abutment is connected and superstructure is connected and impression coping can be used using the hand driver to connect the impression coping. Torque driver, short one and long one, as I said before, an implant can be connected to the superstructure using a torque driver used together with a torque wrench. So I have been talking about one to two taper kit to place implants. If you want details, please join the offline master course. Thank you for your attention.